Oh, well, ladies and gents, what a monumental failure for Warner Brothers Discovery. The Flash has now just, just crossed $200 million. Uh, it had uh, effectively a historic second week drop in terms of the world of DC movies. Uh, in fact, Green Lantern did better as did Black Adam. 73% drop second week. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Really, really big. So, not great. It's only just crossed the 200 million mark. But there's some very, very funny bits and pieces on here that'll just make you go, wow. Yeah, they really screwed the pooch here. So hit subscribe if you're new here. Turn the bell notifications on. Uh, and if you're interested in other bits and pieces I get up to, I've got a podcast, which you can find linked down below in the description box. Uh, actually, along with a car channel as well. But yeah, let's take a look at some of these uh, and then we'll dive into the funnier elements. So second weekend, huge 73% drop. Uh, and what's happened is 26.6 uh, million from 68 markets. So the global total now is just below the 210 million mark. Now the predictions for the Flash uh, is gonna end its run around 280 to 310 million dollars. That's bad. That's real bad. Now, there's reports that it's got a 190 million dollar budget. That's what we know, but this was delayed and it went back for major reshoots. So no, it's gonna be more than that. And then you've got marketing as well. So in terms of how much it's going to lose, well, they say here it's going to cost somewhere in the region of $200 million. You can put that way higher. Easy $300 million this film is going to lose. Easily. Easily. And it doesn't help. Ah, just can't catch a break, can it? Um, yeah. Hmm. The entire film leaked on Twitter. The entire film. The entire film leaked on Twitter. Absolutely amazing. Ah, oh, isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Well, I think it's funny anyway, personally. So, what happened was Twitter Blue subscribers, I didn't know this, but Twitter Blue subscribers can upload videos to Twitter uh, up to two hours in length. So what happened was, or well, it says up to two hours in length, but apparently two hours and 24 minutes was uploaded of The Flash. The entirety. It was uploaded in the early hours and ended up being taken down at 1pm Eastern Time. During that period, it racked up 1.7 million views. Uh, so, I mean, this, it's not really lost much money from there, has it? Let's be honest. I think people just watched it for a bit of a lark. How fucking hilarious is that? Not all those people were going to pay to watch The Flash. Yeah, like none. Uh, but this is bound to hurt the movie's box office prospects. I doubt it. Apparently it was a very good can copy as well. So, that's funny. That means that that'll be around uh, sailing the high seas somewhere as well. But this is what's funny, right? Uh, you're going you're gonna to say that this will impact the box office of the film. I, d I disagree. Because Super Mario Brothers movie was leaked as well. But they're like, well, by that point, it was already a box office hit. It doesn't matter. You've even got... Warner Brothers are so desperate. The Flash and fan, uh, Warner Brothers... The Flash for Fandango. All them have teamed up. So Fandango and Warner Brothers. We've got two for one tickets for The Flash. Fucking hell, that's so bad. Isn't that hilarious? But wait, there's more. The Flash would have likely lost less money had it been released on Max instead of in theatres. <laughs> oh. oh, massive failure this film is. So this weekend, the Fl <laughs> I can't go over that. The Flash has passed two hundred million dollars at worldwide box office. While hitting a benchmark that is usually cause for celebration, especially after just over a week in theatres, it might be as good as it gets for the fastest man alive. That's not good, it being out for two weeks 
and it doing that. Because it's not just two weeks, actually. That's its second weekend. But this film opened on a Wednesday. So bloody two and a half weeks. So reliable box office analyst Luis Fernando believes that the movie is currently eyeing an eventual global run of 280 to 300 million dollars and he goes on to explain that if the flash falls somewhere in that projection it won't even make back its 150 million dollar marketing spend well that makes sense because you've got to average about 50 percent of the box office right so it's made 200 million dollars it actually hasn't it's made 100 million dollars because you have to average it you have to average a certain amount for the theaters right and yet they don't actually take 50 percent but they do take a large portion and as you cross different markets, different markets have different deals with studios. And some uh, studios don't have distribution in every country as well. So there's there's payments for distributors. But it's also that different markets take a different percentage. I mean, China takes somewhere in the region of like 70% of the box office. So you average it about 50. So currently, The Flash has made $100 million for the studio. With somewhere in the region of a $300 million budget plus marketing i mean that's it's fucking terrible um but here you have it warner brothers discovery would have actually lost less by either not releasing the movie or dropping it on hbo max streaming service because apparently by the time all is said and done the flash will lose yeah 200 million 300 million dollars but allegedly it would it would actually make more well lose more make more whatever you want whichever way you want to look at it by just dropping it on HBO Max. I guess at least at that point, you better take it as a bit of a tax cut or content bulk. I don't know. They say this, hindsight is a wonderful thing, of course, and Warner Brothers likely believe that key endorsements from David Zaslav, James Gunn, and Tom Cruise would be enough to guarantee a hit. Uh, no. One of the greatest superhero movies ever made. Yeah. You're on crack or something. You're smoking meth, seriously. Like You think that's one of the best superhero movies ever made. You're an idiot. Uh, so there you have it. I mean... Yeah. Real bad. Real, real bad. Now, it's interesting because people are now speculating because it's as bad as Justice League in terms of it being a financial disaster. Is there going to be a shake-up? You know, the head honcho of DC has paved the way for this film. Now, they're not to blame entirely, because, of course, they're way down the line. But goodness me, what a bomb. Monumental failure. Anyway, leave your thoughts down below. Have a good old chuckle. Take care.